Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. And in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how I make up to $1,390.60 by simply sending out emails. And you guys have seen over the course of the past few weeks, the past few months, you've seen my ClickBank account grow in income. And I wanna spit some truth to you guys. This isn't just from YouTube marketing, but it's also from following up with people that watch my videos and opt into my email list. And so what I'll do is I'll send them three emails, automated emails, and after that I send broadcasts. So that's what we're gonna be covering today. So with that said, if you're new to the channel, give me a thumbs up, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm uploading videos on a daily basis right now, teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. And if you're returning, welcome back. Lots of new content to be released to you in this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, in past videos, we've talked about capture pages, right? You should know what a capture page is at this point. It's simply a page where there's just one intention. Get somebody to opt in to your email list. Now, once they're on your email list, what do you do with them then? How do you follow up with them? What kind of emails do you, do you send out? What type of content do you send out? This is the problem that a lot of people have when it comes to email marketing. They kind of hit a brick wall and they wake up in the morning, they go to their computer or maybe at night and they want to send out an email and they're like, man, I don't even know what to talk about. I don't even know what my market wants. And so a good indicator to figure out what your market wants is to just look at what they originally opt into, right? What they originally opted into, which in this case they wanted to learn how to start earning $500 to $3,000 per day starting today. So any emails that you can send out that's going to help them do that, right, are the types of emails you want to be sending out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through my follow-up process. I'm going to show you live some of the emails that I send out to my list. And a lot of you guys probably receive these emails, but you're going to understand the psychology of why I send what I send out to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into my autoresponder here. You can see that uh, I've got get response. I'm actually testing another autoresponder too as well. This is basically a service where you know all your emails are logged and you can follow up those emails and send mass promotions to a large email list, right? And so everything, all the emails are housed inside of this autoresponder service known as get response. And so what I did is I went to my... Uh, newsletter section right here. Actually, no, not my newsletter section. I went to my manage autoresponders, okay? And this would be known as an autoresponder series that's automated. So on day zero, they're going to receive this email. On day one, they're going to receive this email. And on day two, they're going to see, receive this email. In other words, right when they opt into this page here, they're going to receive this email here. And then tomorrow at the same time, they'll receive this email and this email, so on and so forth. And you can even schedule these emails to be sent out at a certain time of day every single day, which is a little bit more advanced marketing once you get metrics, once you find out you know, when people most respond and open emails and all that good stuff. But let's check out these first three emails. Now, the idea, the psychology behind these first three emails is to get people to know me and my story, right? So think about where they came from originally because every traffic source is going to be different, right? On YouTube, it's very easy to build relationships because they see on video. On Facebook, it's somewhat easy to as well because they might read a long article you know, on your Facebook fan page or on your personal page before they opt into your list. So you gotta think about where are they at? you know, it, it, as far as the relationship building process and how well they know you at the point of when they receive your first email. And so what you want to do is you want to continue the conversation there, right? And so that's exactly what I do here is I basically say, hey, you know, I'm not going to bore you with, you know, all the content here, but the basis of it is, hey, you know, my name is Josh Elder. Here's what I've struggled with. Here's sort of, you know, my experience with online marketing. Here's what I know. Here's just pretty much you know anything about me that's going to get you to know me better and show that I'm not some scammy sleazy person you know I'm legitimate you know um, I'm an authentic person and, and that's what I try and convey in all of my emails is hey I'm no different than you I've struggled in the past and this is for the affiliate marketing niche specifically the make money online niche so you got to think about what your niche is 
and what can you do to create relatability to where when people you know are going through your emails, they're like, man, I like this person. I resonate with this person. I like what this person likes. They've dealt with the same struggles I've dealt with, right? So that's kind of what we want to do when we're you know, going through the, the email writing process when we're creating emails is we really want to put ourselves in the customer shoes and kind of think about what they would be thinking about in the morning throughout the day, you know, when they're working on their computer, when they're trying to make money on the internet, right? Really get into their head and get to know them. And so, you know, I really overcome a lot of problems in this first email with people like yourself that are probably trying to make money online that have struggled in the past, you know, which is number one, this probably isn't your first rodeo. You've tried stuff in the past. You've failed, um, you know, again and again, you've gotten stuck. You've been distracted by the latest shiny object. And if you guys are nodding your head right now, right, it's because I've been through it. It's because I understand. And that's how I'm building a relationship with you guys right now. So you want to do the same thing with people that join your email list. And I will be happy, actually. I will put a link in the description below to where you guys can take these emails. And I don't want you to copy these emails. I want you to model these emails to use for your own promotions. Okay? So that's sort of the basis of the first email is just to build a relationship. And then I kind of somewhat, I sell about 2%. You can see I only have one link here. It's kind of like, hey, this is what you checked out. After you opted into this page, I wanted to remind you that, hey, if, if you want to check it out again, you can feel free to check it out. So that's the first email. The second email, again, is a reminder email. And I believe, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically this email here. It's not um, that email that I just showed you. So this is the second email, just asking them, hey, how are things going, you know, I just wanted to follow up with you from a day ago to make sure you got the info you requested and everything is going smoothly for you. And just in case you can't remember who I am because life happened and you're quite frankly subscribed to a bunch of email lists out there, here's what you requested. So again, acknowledging, hey guys, I know you received tons of emails, you know, and this is another way of just me knowing the market and knowing what people are dealing with that are trying to make money online. So again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm building a relationship with them and just resonating with them on a, on a deeper level. And then I remind them, hey, you know, I partnered up with a good friend and business partner of mine who has been graceful enough to show you in complete detail how to reverse engineer his success through a systematic process known as the challenge, right? And you can use this for whatever offer if you want to swipe and again, model these emails. Again, I'll put them in the description below. Um, so I kind of get, I kind of sell about five, 10% here, give some benefits of what the challenge is, what it's about. And then I say, Hey, this is for you, but only if you want it. So I'm not like telling people you've got to check this out. It's, it's the best thing since sliced bread. You've got to buy now. I'm leaving it up to them. If they want it, they will go for it. They will click on it. All I'm doing is I'm sort of providing them and leading them down the right path. And whether they take that path or not is completely up to them. If they don't, it doesn't affect me whatsoever. So it's like, you know, I'm still going to give you the same value and treat you the same, whether you buy from me or not. You know, I come from a place of service and not from a place of profit at first. And that's really what you want to do in all your marketing is give, 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 and don't expect really anything in return. If people buy from you, great. If they don't, you can feel good about yourself because you're giving value. So that's a mental state that you want to come from when you're putting out content, when you're writing emails. Don't write emails just to sell. Most importantly, you want to help people. Okay. I know I get off on my tangents, but you guys need to know this stuff. All right. I know I'm going to get flack in the, in the YouTube comments, but I hope this is, this is helping you guys. So again, this is just a reminder. You can feel free to go through it yourself. And then lastly, this is the third email that I send out, which would be this email here, okay? And I just basically say, hey, thanks for trusting in me. You know, I just want to give you a sincere thank you for putting your trust in me over the past few days. Honestly, with all the garbage that's out there on the internet, relatability, and out of all the emails you get daily, you've chosen to continue to read mine. And I just let them know how much it matters to me and how much I care about them. Again, authenticity, being genuine, being as down to earth as I can because that's who I truly am. So, you know, you might be somebody that's 
it's different. Like be your true self. And I think when people find their truth, they find that, hey, this is who I am. And if you don't resonate with me, that's fine. You can go out there and join somebody else. That's what this is all about, guys, because there, there's a niche of people for everyone, right? Some people aren't going to resonate with me. They might resonate with you because, I don't know, maybe you're more introverted than I am. Maybe somebody only resonates with people that talk less instead of talk more. Like, And that's the cool thing about this internet marketing game is there's no competition because everybody has their unique story the only competition you have is with yourself. So if you just get your message out there, people will follow you. People will follow you, okay? So that's the third email there. Um, and then this is my broadcasts. So you have autoresponders, which I just showed you, which are automated. Then you have broadcast newsletters, which are these newsletters that you see here. And these are newsletters I can send at any specific time. So like for example, earlier today, I sent this important insiders only email out, okay? So this wasn't an automated email. This was sent out on my behalf. It wasn't timed or anything like that. You know, I get a lot of people that say, I know these emails are automated, blah, 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 blah. That's that's part of an email marketing business, you guys. Like I know you guys don't wanna spend all day and night sending manual emails to hundreds of thousands of people because you wanna enjoy your business. So you gotta understand why you would need to send automated emails and why I send automated emails because you have leverage, right? People understand a lot of these emails are automated, but what I do differently is I actually respond to all of my emails, you know, about 99.9% .9 of my emails. And if I haven't responded to you yet, you will get a response, right? So you want to make sure that you have your first three emails, which are automated emails, and then the rest of your emails are broadcasts. And typically I'll send broadcast emails you know, three to five times a week. Sometimes it's every single day. Sometimes it's three, three times a week. You know, sometimes it's a couple times a week. It just depends on the week and the promotion that I'm running and the amount of value that I'm creating. So as you're sending out promotions, what you want to do is if somebody didn't initially buy from you in those first three emails, that's okay. It's just because they don't know you enough. They don't like you enough. You know, they might still think you're a scam, <laughs> right? So what you need to do is you need to further build relationships with people by sending out emails that, that send them to different platforms online. So maybe one email you would send to, for example, you would send to, you know, a blog post like this, okay? And then people like see that, oh my gosh, Josh Elder actually has his own blog. Okay, this person I think's you know, more legitimate, it seems like. And then another time you can send them to like one of your YouTube videos. And by doing this and taping, taking baby steps with them and meeting hey them guys, where they're at, Elder, you're gradually building relationships with them because they're, they're, they're seeing you on your blog, they're seeing you on YouTube, they're seeing you on Facebook. So maybe you'd make a Facebook post, give some value that relates to making money online, right? And, and then what you would do is they would probably see your photos on Facebook. They would see, you know, your, your past posts. They would see your involvement with, you know, your community, with your family. And then they would really think, wow, this person is real. This person is legitimate. And so it's a process, you know, building a relationship through email marketing doesn't happen overnight. And it's not about the special copywriting skills or sell skills. It's just simply how you connected maybe with your with friends that you created in high school or junior high school or college you want to connect with people the same exact way just freaking be you like don't have the intention that you're trying to sell something to somebody build a relationship first and the sales will automatically come right people will see that you're a good person you're knowledgeable as well so we're giving away knowledge as we're indirectly you know building these relationships and that's really what it's all about. So let me let me show you some examples of some emails that I've sent out, okay? I don't want this video to get too long and I'm giving you guys a lot of information, but here's an example, right? Again, in the make money online niche, I'm showing some proof right here. And then, you know, I inject my YouTube channel because I know as I'm writing this email, people are like, I don't even know who Josh is. Maybe they forgot who I am because again, they're on a bunch of email lists. And so what I do is I send them to my YouTube channel so they're reminded, oh, okay, this is Josh Elder. And then I send them straight to a pre-frame. This is called a pre-frame 
landing page, okay, which pre-frames them and pre-qualifies them. And then when they click the request access button here, they go to the sales page, okay? And here's the deal, guys. People might not buy on the first time from this specific sales process, from that landing page you just saw and this sales page. So what we wanna do is we wanna offer different angles. We wanna use different angles to sell the same product, okay? So maybe they didn't resonate with that angle. So what we would do is as our pre-frame, instead of this page, maybe we would send them to this page, right? This is a page that was created by one of my mentors, but it sends them to the exact same sales page, right? So we want to give them different angles, different features and benefits from maybe different people, different audiences, different pages, right? And you could see another one here, kind of the same setup here, but a different guy just talking about the same product here, okay? So what people tend to do is they, they, they slam their list with the same offer in the same way. So maybe you want to put a Facebook post in front of the offer. Maybe you want to put, you know, one of those pre-frame, uh, pre-frame landing pages. Um, where was that? Like a pre-frame landing page, like this page here. Maybe you want to put a blog post in front of them before you send them straight to here, right? So it really is all about what they see before they see the sales video. People think that traffic and conversions is just about sending a bunch of people to this page and letting the numbers work out. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's more about what's happening before they're seeing this page. Okay. So that's an example of one email autoresponder. Um, let's see if I can show you guys another one real quick. Here's another one right here, right? So this one is just pure value. Okay. So with your broadcast emails, you want to follow the formula value, 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 sell, okay? So you want three emails that just give pure value and maybe one email that sells and then rinse and repeat that process. And you can even mix it up with you know, 90% value, 10% sell. And as you do this, as you take action, you'll kind of figure out little methods, little ways where you can do that. And furthermore, what you can also do is give all the value in your email too. So instead of having the value on your Facebook page or on a blog or on another landing page, sometimes you can even put all the value in the email and then have a sign up link at the very end of your email. So your email itself is the pre-frame and at the bottom you have your link that goes straight to the sales page. So again, it's all about the pre-frame. But this email right here, this video just gives pretty much 100%, 99% value. Okay, so people click on this from my email. I show them how to get free traffic to their affiliate link. And then at the end, you know, 30 seconds before the video ends, I let them know, hey, if you want to learn how to build an online business from complete scratch, check my top recommended system below. And that's pretty much the process of email marketing. So don't be afraid to go out there and start sending out emails. What I'll do is I will put... Um, a link in the description to a Google Docs that will give you access to those three initial follow-up emails. And I'll also include some other emails that you guys can use in your marketing too as well. So first, model other people. And then once you really get the gist of how email marketing works, how the game's played, go out there and start writing your own emails, okay? Short and concise emails are best when you're sending people to a page where most of the value is, okay? So you're going to notice with this last email, you'll notice that I didn't put a lot of text here. Why? Because the value is in this video. If the value was on this email itself, the email would be much longer. But my intention is to get them over to the value, to get them to click over to another page. So the whole purpose of this email, the intention of the email itself, is to get people to click this link. If they don't click this link, they don't get no value and then they don't you know, eventually buy from me, okay? So you wanna, you wanna sell them on the click. You first here, you wanna sell them on the open, so make sure the open is congruent with what you're trying to accomplish within the email, right? And you wanna keep the messages congruent throughout. So you wanna keep this congruent with this here and you'll notice when they click this hey guys, link, the title of the email matches the title of the video, 
okay? And then you want the content to be congruent, and then you want to send them to a page where they can get more information. So that's really the process. So covered a lot in this video. I hope this video helped. I hope it served you. With that said, this is Josh Elder signing off. And if you want to learn how to build an email marketing business, an affiliate marketing business, or any business from, for that matter from complete scratch, check out the resources section below. Check out my top recommended system. It will show you how to do that from zero. But you got to be willing to focus, concentrate, don't get distracted by everything else, right? And most importantly, like this video, subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.